Hey you guys, it's Megan. We are live. Happy Wednesday, July 27th or 28th. I have no idea. Hopefully all of you guys have had a fantastic midweek now that it's hump day. I've got eight packages going out. One of them is two pairs of jeans to the same buyer um, and the rest of them are all single. So let's go ahead and get started. I photographed a ton of shoes yesterday which are right behind me on the floor. And then today I'm going to work on listing those. If my face looks a little bit different, it is because I am trying out one of these new like Instagram live filters. So I figured we'd see how it looks. It really makes my eyes pop, um, but I'll see what it looks like when I watch the replay. It may look terrible and I won't do it again. Okay, so first item going out is this pair of Trina Turk jeans. Um, these did have a couple like scuff marks on them. I paid $3. They only went for $23 and then shipping will be $5.66. If they were in better condition, they would have sold for more. And here I go again, not keeping my supplies near me. So I have to keep stepping out of the frame. Show me your Moo Moo dress. This was actually a customer return. It just came back a couple days ago and I relisted it. This one went for $50 and then shipping is going to be $7.18, which is a flat rate envelope. It is pretty lightweight, so this could have went first class, but because it's a higher value item, um, I listed it with priority mail shipping. This uh, shirt that I'm wearing came from my thrift haul the other day. It's by Anthropology. I think I paid two or three dollars for it. And I got it to resell, but then I tried it on and decided that I like it. It's got this little like twist thing in the front. And the main color on here is purple, which goes with these leggings. So I decided I'll keep it for now. Probably wear it a couple times and then I'll sell it later. Hey, closet full, thanks for coming in. Hey, Tanya. All right, next up, this is a brand I have not sold before. It is a pair of loudmouth golf pants. I found them in the women's section, but they're actually men's. They are a smaller size. They are a 28-32, so a 28-inch waist. That's pretty small for guys. I paid $2 for it. They sold for $40.32, and shipping will be $5.42, which is first class. Let me get a bigger poly bag for these. shop something design you have a long name thanks for coming in this next item i actually listed within the past week it is a pair of men's seven for all mankind slimmy jeans waist size 29 that's also a small size but they were in really good condition i paid 350 for them and i did take a best offer of 25 dollars normally something like this would sell for a little bit more but i really am trying to push and get some more sales before the end of the month. So I'm a little bit desperate. I also normally don't do very well with smaller men's sizes, but for some reason I sold two men's items and they were both smaller. All right, next item, this is a logo top. I paid $3.50 for it. I took a best offer of 20, and shipping will be $3.69, which is first class. Uh, 
All right, I also have another logo top here. It's going to a different buyer though. This one was also $3.50. I took a best offer of $20. And shipping on this one is going to be $4.38. I'm just making a big trash pile here next to me. And then once I get off the live show, I'll throw it in the trash. I only have like a small work area here for you guys to see me. And when I watch these replays before I post them on YouTube, I notice that I keep stepping out of frame constantly. So I'm trying to stay in the frame for the whole uh, live stream. Okay, next up, these are the two pairs of jeans that went to the same buyer. These are both by William Rast. I believe they came from the same wholesale palette probably a year ago. I paid $3.34 for each pair. $3.34. Shipping is going to be $10.57, which is a regional A box. They are going to a buyer in New York. The first pair sold for $40, and the second pair sold for $35. Let me make sure this is the right item. $3.45, yes. They bought the first pair, and then they made me a best offer of $35 in the second pair, and I figured I can just ship these together. I'll save a little bit of money, so I don't mind taking a smaller offer. Hopefully these fit the buyer and they don't return them to me. Because it seems like that always happens when I give someone a good deal for buying multiple items. They typically return the most expensive item and then keep the item that I gave them a good deal. item going out. Hey, House of Royalty, thanks for coming by again. All right, last item. This is a really old dress. It is by N Focus Studio. No idea what that is. This has sat for probably three or four years, so I did take a best offer of $18 for it, and then shipping is going to be $4.53, which is first price. I am hoping to go live later today with a haul from the thrift store of the jeans and pants that I got. I did show you guys the shoes yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. So if you missed that, go and watch the replay. It is also posted on YouTube. And then hopefully today I'll get to show you guys the jeans and pants. A closet full, how do you ship together if they purchase multiple and they pay multiple shipping? Um, a closet full, I do free shipping for starters, but on eBay, there's an option to combine the order when you go to print a shipping label. So that's all I did. They bought two pairs and then I just went and purchased one label for the two items. Um, and again, the buyer didn't pay me anything for shipping. So I'm the one that gets to save a little bit of money on the back end for that. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get off the live stream, put these outside, continue listing my shoes. And then hopefully I will be back later today with a live thrift haul. Thank you everyone for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.